today I'm going to show you guys um, my way to do floating clothes in Photoshop. Again, I really want to emphasize that this is my way of doing this. I don't know if there's a better or more ergonomic way of doing this. This is the way I found it easiest to do, and I really hope it helps someone to do this effect because it's pretty cool when it comes out. Okay, so first things first, what you want to do is get a picture of you and with, I don't know, some good areas of where the holes of your clothing would show. So basically, what we're going to do is effectively remove all the human parts of me. I mean, my, my skin, my head, and we're just going to leave my clothes. So we're going to remove my arm, my head, and my arm here. And basically leave the opening here and make it look real. My clothes are full, or floating. So the most important part um, to make it easiest is get another picture of the same exact backdrop. There, let me hit screen. So basically, you want two pictures. One of the backdrop and one of you in there. You can use one picture if you're really good at using the clone tool and replacing, say, my head with these branches. But unless you're really good, it's going to look really bad. And it's just going to save you minutes, if not hours, of time. So first things first, we're going to press Control A, Control C, and Control V to paste this over the original. Uh, this copy we don't need anymore. Okay, cool. As you can see, the images are tilted a little bit differently. So we're going to fix that. All right, let's look at some lines here. I'm going to turn the opacity down. Okay, so, and you can hold shift to move stuff in a straight line. That way you get exact specs and down just a bit. Ah, come on. Perfect. Now we should literally have no difference in spacing. So when you remove my head, all right, cool. So first thing you're going to want to do is create a new layer. You're going to go to your pen tool, and this is where we're going to basically, we're going to fill in where our arm is erased, and we're going to fill in basically the entrance to uh, our arm sleeve here. So I don't know, kind of guesstimate um, where the rest is around the arm or wherever you're drawing. So you're going to go in here. Let's kind of draw around the parts you can already see and just kind of make a good guess. It doesn't really matter. I mean, unless you want it to look realistic and I just connect that. All right, cool. That'll work. Right click, make selection, press OK. Now, a really important part, we're going to fill this in with color. We don't actually have to like clone stamp and put it on the inside. That's not realistic because on the inside, we're not going to have the same patterns on the outside. Under your brush tool, hold Alt and take a color sample of, I don't know, anywhere on the shirt. And then fill this in. Then press Control D to hide the marching ants away. And we're just going to draw out the rest of our arm here. Best as we can. There. Okay, cool. So then, after we got that part done, all the rest, the rest of the work is basically we're gonna have to erase these and burn and dodge this for realistic shadow and lighting. So, with our first I mean, middle layer selected, get your eraser, eraser tool. Hardness doesn't really matter, um, and basically erase the parts you don't want. Oh wow, this is slow. Raced some of the sleeve, kind of want that. We'll do the same over here. We don't have to be super precise because not much people are going to be looking over here. Uh, 
since we don't have to worry about that opening, we're just doesn't have to be super precise. Now again, we're gonna have to do the same thing with what we did over here, over to here. So again, create a new layer. Got a pen tool. Let's just kind of guesstimate, get the part. We already know that's there. Go around my gobble chin here. Basically. I think that'll work just fine. Make selection, okay. And since it's the same color as the inside of the shirt, we don't have to change the color. I'm just going to fill this in. Control D, and only a little bit. We have to fill in for the rest. Okay, cool. So then let's erase my head here. Damn it. Okay, cool. Most of your work's done now. From a distance, this already looks pretty legit, but I know there's always going to be that one guy on the internet. He's going to look at your photos and tell you it's not realistic looking. So we're going to finish this off. Okay, we're going to go to our arm here and finish this. Now, for the shadow and lighting, we're going to first go to our burn tool. We're going to go to midtones. We're just going to darken this whole thing up. Basically, what you want to do, if I can well explain this enough, is the lightest parts are going to be around here and the darkest parts are going to be absolutely down here. So, first we want to make the whole thing dark, and when we push the lights back up, it's not going to be some smooth, pure color. It's actually going to have, as you can see, there's some sort of depth to it, like this. So it's kind of variation. It's not all one color. And that's what we want, because that's what, that's what clothing looks like in real life. Okay, now that's good work shadows. Let's darken this up quite a bit. Yeah, and you can make it dark too. Okay, now we're going to go to dodge. We're going to go to shadows. So basically, what dodge does on shadow mode, you know, brings up the lights, obviously, from the shadows. But when you go to midtones, it adds contrast and gives it more full color, as you can see. It's a lot more noticeable. Okay, and one last thing, as you can see, it's a little sharp here. So we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And, yeah, let's blur this just a perfect. Uh, that arm is done. Right-click, Merge Down. We're going to do the same thing over here. So, we're going to go to Burn, Midtones, just darken the whole thing. Okay, shadows now. That already looks pretty good, but I'm going to go to dodge anyway. Add some realistic oomph there. Alright, see how realistic that looks? This one I don't think we have to blur. Alright, and that's basically how I do that. Um, just a heads up, it's really tough, say, if my arm sleeve was down the middle of my shirt. That means that when you erase my hand, say, if it was right here, you're going to have to draw in and clone stamp the rest of your shirt and then do the same process. Just always be aware of stuff like that. That's why I purposely had this photo taken with my hands outward. It's just a ton easier. So I hope that helped.